de sarasati deve koravani pracharine vacha de shatarine vancha kalpata rubyascha kripa sindhu bayebio vaishnavibio namo namaha jai shri advaita kadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare I think the internet is very unstable. Um, you are Spurmash or mine? Mine. Oh. Okay, but now uh, I can hear you okay. <laughs> okay, all right. So we're reading the Ishopanishad and we're on mantra number 16. I will read the Sanskrit and the translation first. Pushanikarsha yamasurya prajapatya vayuha rasmin samuha tejo yate rupam kauyana tatam. Tam, tam, tamam tate pajyami yo shava sho parusha soham asmi. O my Lord, O prime evil philosopher, maintainer of the universe, O regulating principle, destination of the pure devotees, well-wisher of the progenitors of mankind, please remove the effulgence of your transcendental rays so that I can see your form of bliss. You are the eternal supreme personality of Godhead, like unto the sun, as am I. คำแปลนะคะโอ้องค์พระขวานโอ้นักปราชญ์คนแรกโอ้ผู้อนุรักษ์จักรวาลโอ้หลักธรรมะจุดมุ่งหมายของสาวกผู้บริสุทธิ์
from his Bhagavat Sandarbha. Jiva Goswami wrote six different Sandarbhas which are all discussing and explaining the teachings of Krishna consciousness. So he explains that if we understand the personality of Godhead, then we will have a full realization of the absolute truth. The absolute truth is almighty and possesses all kinds of transcendental potencies. But if we know, if one only knows the Brahman, if one has only realized the Brahma Jyoti, then he does not know the full potency of the Absolute. If one knows the Brahma Jyoti, he's got some realization, but not complete. So one who knows the Brahma Jyoti is not wrong, but his realization is not complete. So then J Jiva Goswami describes the meaning of the word Bhagavan. And he explains how Bhagavan is made up of three different syllables, Ba, Ga, Van. And he explains the meaning of each of these syllables. First of all, he said the syllable ba has two meanings. It means one who can fully maintain, and it also means one who is the guardian. Then the second syllable, ga, that means one who guides or leads or create the creator. And, and then the third, the third syllable, van, that means that every living being lives in him, and he also lives in every being. So, the word Bhagavan means one who has infinite knowledge. He also has potency and energy and opulence. And he has strength and influence. And 
all of these things have no touch of the material energy. So then we should understand that the Supreme Lord maintains all of his pure devotees. And he he guides them from he guides them how to make more progress. Because the the Lord who is Bhagavan, he's the leader of the devotees. So he gives the result of devotional service. And the result of devotional service is that he gives himself to the devotees. And the devotees, they can see the Lord, they see him with their own eyes. Of course, that is the mercy of the Lord, that they're able to see him. And the Lord helps the devotee to go back to Godhead. To go to Goloka Vrindavan. So because the Lord is the creator of everything, he can give everything to his devotees. And he, he gives everything to the devotees so they can they have they're able to reach him. And because the Lord is the original person, he is the cause of everything. So there is nothing which is not without his, it's all, everything is due to him. He, he is the original cause. And he, the Supreme Lord is always enjoying. He, he's the Supreme Enjoyer, so he enjoys himself. And he, when he enjoys, he will enjoy through his internal potency. The internal potency means the spiritual world. But the external potency, the material world, that is not exactly coming from Krishna. Yeah, the material world comes from the Purushas. The Purushas, they come from Krishna. 
There are three Purushas. There is a Maha Vishnu, Garbo Dakeshai Vishnu, and also Shira Dakeshai Vishnu. Vishnu, Dakshai And so these are the Purusha, these are all expansions coming from the Supreme Lord. And he arranges to maintain the material world by these different Purushas expansions. So the living entities, all of us, we're also expansions of the Lord. Because we want to be the Lord ourselves, we want to imitate the Lord, so He allows us to come into the material world. He allows us to take, to enter into this material world and we try to lord over the, the world. We want to enjoy it for ourselves, independent of, Christ, of the Supreme Lord. So because there's many different living entities, so the, the whole material world is brought there's many many different actions taking place in the world because there's so many different living entities and we're allowed to try to lord over the material energy to try to exploit it for our own enjoyment but we should understand that actually we're never the ultimate controller. The real controller in this world is actually the Supreme Lord Krishna Himself. And he can't, Krishna controls this world through his, dip, through his expansion as the Paramatma. Paramatma is one of the Purushas, right? It's Shirodaka Shai Vishnu. Oh, Paramatma is Shai Vishnu. Is the super soul in the heart of all living entities. And at the same time, Shirodakashai Vishnu resides on, on, on resides on Sweta Dweep, which is in surrounded by the milk ocean. <coughs> So that is, it's a Vaikuntha planet which is within the universe. So, so we should understand there's a big difference between the living entities and the Supreme Lord, the Paramatma. We are all souls, but we're not the super soul. So 
ไม่ใช่อภิวิญญา The super soul is a controller and we are controlled เพราะว่าองค์อภิวิญญาเนี่ยหรือเราจะเรียกว่าอิสระวิญญาค่ะก็คือเป็นผู้เป็นผู้ควบคุมแต่ว่าเราเนี่ยพันธวิญญาณเราเป็นผู้ถูกควบคุม So we are in a different position, different category, two different, big difference between the soul and the super soul. So the Paramatma cooperates with. สถิตในร่างไหนก็แล้วแต่อภิวิญญาณก็จะตามไปด้วย You have the 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 paramatma is always the witness to the activities of the soul. ปรมาตมาเนี่ยแต่ว่าจะทำหน้าที่เป็นพยานให้กับกิจกรรมที่ดวงวิญญาณนั้นแหละกระทำ Sometimes we compare the two souls to two birds in a tree. เราก็จะให้ตัวอย่างการเปรียบเทียบไว้เหมือนกับนกสองตัวบนต้นไม้ One bird is eating the fruit, and the other bird is watching. นกตัวหนึ่งเนี่ยคือกำลังกินลิ้นรสผลไม้อยู่ไอลิ้นรสของขนของต้นไม้อยู่อีกตัวหนึ่งก็คือมองมองดู So the one bird which is eating the fruit, that is the soul, that is the living entity. And the one which is the witness, which is watching, that is the super soul. And the super soul was there to help us and to remind us and to guide us. But we have independence. We get to do what we want. แต่เราก็มีอิสระในการเลือกที่จะกระทำโดยสมบูรณ์เราสามารถทำอะไรก็ได้ที่เราต้องการ The paramatma does not force us. Paramatma เนี่ยจะไม่ได้บังคับอะไรเรา Alright, so the there's a the paramatma feature is everywhere. It's in the hearts of all living entities, and it's in all atoms everywhere. So it's it's in even for different places which are waking and sleeping. It's there. And there are different types of souls. We have liberated souls and conditioned souls, but both the souls are Brahman. So both the Paramatma and the Brahman, they come from the Supreme Lord. แล้วก็ทั้งบรมานแล้วก็พระมารมาเนี่ยแต่ทั้งสองเนี่ยมาจากองค์พระควาน Everything that exists has to come from the Supreme Lord. ทุกอย่างที่มีอยู่เนี่ยมันจะต้องมาจากองค์พระควาน So the Paramatma is his expansion. พระมารมาเนี่ยเป
And the living entities, they're all the energy of the Lord. And we've got conditioned souls and liberated souls. But Paramatma is never affected by the material energy. So if one understands this knowledge, then they will engage in devotional service to the Supreme Lord. So the pure devotee who knows this, he will be very attached to the Lord. And when the devotee will meet with other devotees, they will glorify the Lord. And they will talk about the Lord's different transcendental activities. But if somebody, somebody may be not, he's not a pure devotee, but he's understood something, he's understood that he's not the body, so he knows he's Brahman, or he's understood Paramatma, the Lord in the heart. So they, they cannot understand devotional service. เอ่อยังไม่ยังไม่เข้าใจยังไม่ยอมรับเกี่ยวกับรูปลักษณ์ของพระองค์ว่าพระผู้เป็นเจ้าก็สามารถมีเอ่อมีรูปลักษณ์
เมื่อเราอยากจะรู้ว่าพ่อของเราเออเมื่อเด็กอยากจะรู้ว่าพ่อของเด็กเนี่ยเป็นใครเด็กเนี่ยมันต้องไปนั่งตามหาโดยแล้วโดยไปถามทุกคนว่าพ่อผมเป็นใครพ่อผมเป็นใครอันนั้นน่าจะเป็นการยากแต่ถ้าเกิดว่าเด็กเนี่ยถามแม่ของตนเองว่าพ่อเป็นใครเนี่ยตอนเด็กจะได้คําตอบที่ถูกต้องแล้วก็เป็นเนี่ยจะเป็นถือว่าเป็นวิธีที่ง่ายด้วย And there are two animals, just like there's a monkey. The monkey will carry his young chimp. How does the monkey carry the young chimp? He will put the chimp on his back, and the chimp has to hold on. And the mon mother monkey, she, the young chimp is holding on to the mother, and the big mother, she's moving, going from one tree to another tree. So sometimes the young monkey will fall off. เหมือนกันกับตัวอย่างของลิงเพราะลิงเนี่ยเวลามีลูกเนี่ยเขาก็จะเอาลูกเนี่ยไปเก็บไว้ตรงอกแล้วลูกจะกอดเขาเว้นแน่นแล้วก็แม่ก็จะเอ่อกระโดดไปนี่กระโดดมานี่ลูกก็จะยังอยู่ But the kitten the cat when she has kittens she will take the young kitten and she will hold the young kitten in her jaws she will hold the kitten and she will go And she won't drop the kitten. She takes care of the kitten. The kitten is very safe in the jaws of his mother. เหมือนกับตัวอย่างของแมวก็เช่นกันแมวเนี่ยเวลาเขาเกิดมีลูกมาเนี่ยเขาจะคาบลูกไปแต่การคาบของแมวแม่แมวเนี่ยมันคือความปลอดภัยมากที่สุดสำหรับลูกแมว So the same way the devotees are like the kitten in the jaws of the cat. สำหรับสาวกเนี่ยเหมือนกันเหมือนกับเป็นลูกลิงแล้วก็เป็นลูกแมว But the yogi and the philosopher they're like the, the the young monkey on the back of the mother they can fall off at any time แต่ว่าถ้าเกิดว่าเป็นเอ่อนักปรัชญาหรือว่าเอ่อนักที่ไม่ไม่เชื่อในพระเจ้านะก็เหมือนกับเอ่อเหมือนกับเหมือนกับลูกลิงที่กอดหลังลิงที่อาจจะตกลงไปเมื่อไหร่ก็ได้ They have to depend on their own strength to hold on เราต้องเชื่อในความแข็งแรงของตนเองเพื่อที่จะเอาตัวเองให้รอด So then just to finish this purport Prabhupada quotes a verse from the Kata Upanishad And he said that the Lord can be known only by those who He gives mercy to. Yeah. The Lord can reveal Himself to the people He wants. He doesn't reveal himself to everyone, but to certain people, he will reveal himself. So which people get the mercy? These are the pure devotees. Krishna gives his mercy to his pure devotees. บอกว่าแล้วบุคคลประเภทไหนที่พระองค์เนี่ยจะส่งให้ให้ความสําคัญหรือว่าให้ให้เมตตาพิเศษนี้นะพระองค์จะให้กับใคร So if we want to get the mercy of Krishna, if we want to get the special blessing, we have to go beyond the Brahma Jyoti. ถ้าเกิดเราอยากจะได้พระเมตตาจากพระองค์เนี่ยก็คือเราจะต้องไปเป็นเหนือ Brahma Jyoti. Okay, so we're going to go on now. Mantra 17. Vayur anilam amritam atedam bashmantam shariram om krato smara kritam smara krato smara kritam smara Translation Let this temporary body be burned to ashes, and let the air of life be merged with the totality of air. Now, O oh my Lord, 
Please remember all my sacrifices. And because you are the ultimate beneficiary, please remember all that I have done for you. ขอให้ร่างกายอันไม่ทาวรนี้ถูกเผาเป็นเท่าฐานขอให้ลมปราณแห่งชีวิตกลืนเข้าไปในอากาศทั้งหมดบัดนี้โอ้องค์พระขว
And then we may take a body of an animal, like a dog or a pig. So, Hare Krishna. Chinese devotee cannot hear. Hare Krishna. Yes, Guru Are they saying they cannot hear? Did they tell you? Yes, Guru Maharaj. They tell me in this chat box. Oh. Who told you? Who wrote? Uh, who wrote? Uh, this one is uh, Padmalochan Prabhu wrote. <laughs> well, Padmalo, he cannot hear either? He's not Chinese. Yes, I cannot hear. Yeah, that's what he said. What's going on? Let, let's ask. Okay. Can we ask someone, Gurmash? Yeah, who, who's translating there today? Tosi Gopinath, are you there? Or is, yeah. Yes, are you translating? Tosi Gopinath, me think that woman ma, you went ma. I think she's translating, then you will not hear her much. Well, I I just asked her if she's translating. Oh, okay. Well, you said they can't hear. Yeah, that's what they say. They've been uh, writing something in Chinese, but I don't understand. Really? So. <laughs> Tosi Gopinath, how is everything? Are you getting the, the are you hearing okay? Padmalochan Prabhu, are you there? Unmute me, okay. Uh, okay, I have to unmute him. Where is he? Can you raise your hand, Ruji? I cannot see you. There are so many. Uh, okay, got it. Okay, Ruji. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. So, um, they had chatted in the Mandarin language and I immediately translated it. It, it, it basically says we cannot hear. And then when I try to toggle between Mandarin and English, I could also not hear, so. Okay. Well, the line is unstable, that's the problem. It's, not, it's nothing we can do about it, it's just that the internet connection is unstable. Oh, okay. Here, uh, Tulasi Mataji said, she can hear your words, Guru Maharaj, but uh, yeah, but when she speak, you you cannot hear. That that's right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was just translating the text, um, which was oh, coming in sure. Mandarin. Yeah, and and I also tried to toggle, but it was not working. But it... oh, okay. Is it okay now? Will you please check and let me know. Yeah, I mean. Uh, it... Tulsi Mataji, can you speak? <laughs> I'm going into the Chinese. Mandarin. No. Tulsi Gopinath, Mataji? No, I just can't hear. Okay, maybe I can remove her and then try to put her again. Okay, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Yeah, yeah, okay, I can try that. Um, Okay, now now I think okay. 
Okay? Yes, Gosh. All right, so we're explaining that the living entity keeps his identity as a spirit soul, but we, we take many different bodies. So we should understand our identity is spiritual, not material. And our, then, our identity is the soul, not the body. And Prabhupada also adds that we're never the personal. The material and Prabhupada said actually the material body is that is without that doesn't have a form, but it takes a form according to the living entity. So the material but the material dress is doesn't have a form. And no living entity is without a form. Every living entity has some kind of form. And if people think that they don't have a form, then they're in ignorance. And from this mantra we can see that the living entity continues to exist even after the end of the material body. <laughs> so one time Prabhupada was in America and he went to visit one colony where a lot of young people were living on a farm. And these young people, you know, they were, it was the 1960s, and these young people were like hippies, and they decided that they should all just go naked. They didn't wear any clothes. So Prabhupada was chanting and he opened his eyes and he was surprised to see the audience that all the young people were sitting there and none of them had any clothes on. So Prabhupada explained to them, he said, oh, you like to get free from the coverings of the material body. You're enjoying uncovering yourselves to get free of that, all this covering. We see even, we see today with the COVID, there are many people very much against wearing a mask 
They think it's very wrong to wear a mask, to cover yourself with a mask. They think, no, we should just let people see ourselves. We should be able to see who everybody is. We shouldn't have to cover ourselves with a mask over our face. So Prabhupada explained to these young people, he said, uh, yes, it's, it's, you've got free of the covering, you're, you've uncovered your bodies, but your body is also covering your soul. Wouldn't you like to get free of the covering over your soul? And so all the young people said, yes, we would like that. แล้วก็ว่าแล้วเธอรู้ไหมว่าความจริงของตนเองเอาโดยที่โดยที่ให้เผยเผยตรงนี้ออกมาเนี่ย So Prabhupada said to get free of the covering of the of the soul you have to chant this Hare Krishna mantra แล้วเสพวานก็บอกว่าถ้าเพื่อที่จะเอาเอาออกไปแบบนี้เนี่ยสิ่งที่เราทําได้อย่างเดียวก็คือเธอจะต้องสวด Hare Krishna มามันso in this way, many of these young people became devotees of Krishna. So in the material world, the material nature shows many wonderful creations. We see so many wonderful different bodies of different living entities are made. And they're given different bodies according to their conditions in which they live. Yeah. We can see creatures like in, in Russia, there, there's bears. They have bears who live in the forests. And the bears, they can tolerate the cold and they will find, they can, they can, they can go into the icy water and they will stand very still in the very cold water and they wait for the fish to come. And when a fish comes, they will grab it with their hands. They have to be very quick. And in Africa, you have animals like the giraffe, and they have a big long neck and long legs. They can run fast and they're very tall. And then there's birds, they fly in the sky. And they have good eyesight, they can see things down on the ground, they'll come and catch them, get something to eat. So different living entities are given, given different kinds of bodies just for their eating and sleeping and mating and defending. Uh, 
And we see animals like the pig, they get a body which is suitable for eating their food. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Tosi, yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we can hear you. Can you? Can you? Malaji, can you send me the Chinese? Ah, okay. 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 Yes, Gomash. Okay, so the living. So Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So somebody wants to eat flesh, they want to eat the animal. The, 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 the flesh of the animal or taste the blood. So they get a body like that. They get a body like a tiger with teeth and claws. But we see the human body, that's not meant for eating meat. And we don't want to eat food like the pig. No, the human body is made that we're meant to eat food like fruit and vegetables. So the body of the human being is made in such a way it's meant to be vegetarian. Our but the body is designed just so that we can eat easily fruit and vegetables and grains. Okay, we will stop and ask if there's any questions. Okay. Okay. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances. All Gurus to Srila Prabhupada. Uh, do I understand correctly that uh, living, living entities are coming from the Supreme Lord directly and uh, material energy isn't? It is uh, from, uh, coming from Purushas. And uh, that is because we are feeling ourselves so bad in material world. อืมโอเคคําถามของมาดีนะคะบอกว่าเอ่ออยากรู้ว่าเอ่อฉันเข้าใจถูกต้องหรือเปล่าว่าเอ่อสิ่งมีชีวิตเนี่ยเป็นส
แล้วลูกูปีเนี่ยไม่พอใจประมาแล้วบอกว่าบอกไม่พอใจพระพรหมพระพรหมเนี่ยทําไมถึงสร้างร่างมนุษย์มาแบบนี้ว่าดวงตาเนี่ยจะต้องมีการกระพริบอยู่เสมอ So the bodies, there's eight million four hundred thousand different species of life. สำหรับร่างร่างวัตถุนี้เนี่ยมีสิ่งมีชีวิตทั้งหมดหนึ่งล้านแปดแสนแปดล้านสี่แสนเผ่าพันธุ์ And we're told there's four hundred thousand different human species. แล้วก็แล้วก็แล้วข้อมูลที่ได้กล่าวมาก็คือมีแค่ร่างมนุษย์เนี่ยประมาณสี่แสนเผ่าพันธุ์เท่านั้น We can we can see we can see the different human bodies we see how some bodies are white and some bodies are black and some bodies are yellow different colors of skin เราก็เห็นได้ว่าสีผิวก็แตกต่างกันไปบางคนผิวเหลืองเหลืองเล็กเนื้อบางคนผิวขาวผิวคล้ำผิวดำ And we see different facial features. Sometimes the eyes, the, the, just like Western people, they often have blue eyes. But people in in uh, other country, in 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 in, uh, in India, they don't usually have blue eyes. They will have brown eyes. ฝั่งภาพยุโรปเนี่ยเขาจะมีตาสีฟ้าตาสีเทาอะไรอย่างนี้ที่สวยงามแต่ถ้ามาฝั่งเอเชียเนี่ยเราก็จะเจอคนตาสีน้ำตาลสีดำ So we see hair people from Europe they have different colors of hair they have brown hair and blonde hair but people from China and from India they will have black hair แล้วก็จากคนจากฝั่งยุโรปเนี่ยเขาจะมีสีผมที่แตกต่างกันไปด้วยเขาจะมีสีผมบรอนสีผมอะไรถ้าเป็นฝั่งเอเชียก็จะเป็นผมดำ So the bodies are made by Brahma, not by Krishna. Krishna empowers. We heard Krishna doesn't touch. He doesn't have much connection with the material energy. He's aloof from the material energy. Krishna, he sent. He didn't do anything. He sent power. It's his separated energy. But in the spiritual world, Krishna has a form, and he has a body. Now our bodies are made like Krishna's body. แต่พอแต่พระชาติทรงมีรูปลักษณ์ทิพย์พิเศษของพระองค์ที่โลกทิพย์แต่ว่าร่างของเราเนี่ยถูกออกแบบมาให้เหมือนให้แบบว่าคล้ายกับพระชาติมาก Two hands, two eyes, one nose, one mouth. มีสองแขนสองขาหนึ่งจมูกสองตาสองหูหนึ่งปาก We see sometimes. People like Brahma has many four heads. Many he can have many heads. And we see in Vaikuntha, living entities have four arms. So sometimes some living entities have more than two arms. มนุษย์ที่นั้นจะมีมือทั้งหมดสี่สี่สี่มือด้วยกันแต่ว่าเราที่โลกนี้เรามีแค่สองมือ So we're made in the image of Krishna because we we want to be the controller so we're given a body which looks like Krishna but it's not eternal 
Krishna has the eternal body, we just have a temporary body. Mm -hmm. Yes, Guru Maharaj, but what about our souls? Are our souls um, uh, coming from uh, Krishna? Yes, we're all part of Krishna. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Mami Vamsa Jiva Loke Jiva Bhuta Sanatana, that the living entities are eternally my parts and parcels. We're eternally a part of, we're eternally coming part of Krishna. We have a connection to Krishna. But we, we give the example like sparks coming from the fire. เอ่อพูดว่าแล้วดวงวิญญาณมาจากพระคุณมาบอกว่าใช่ค่ะดวงวิญญาณเนี่ยมาจากคริชนาเป็นละอองอนุที่มาจากคริชนาเราให้ต
หนังสือนี้เนี่ยได้เขียนไว้ให้ได้แนะนําไว้ให้ไม่ใช่สําหรับทุกคนแต่สําหรับบรามนะ So the people who are worshiping the deities, they fall. Yes, they use that. สำหรับสาวกที่บูชาพระปฏิมาก็จะใช้ใช้ก็จะปฏิบัติตาม Worship the deities done according to scriptures. ตามบูชาพระปฏิมาเนี่ยเป็นไปตามพระเวทคำแนะนำของพระเวท And there's a, a there's a standard by which we have to do the deity worship. The standard is you must be twice initiated as a brahmana. So we have a standard of man. The standard is you have to be a person who has received the first initiation for the second time. Yes. You understand, Prabhu? ก็ใช่ไหม I understand Guru Maharaj thank thank you very much to your explanation Guru Maharaj Hare Krishna Hare Krishna All right some other questions are there Yes Guru Maharaj we have like four more Okay Shaya m a d i p l e a s h a r i Krishna Guru Maharaj, d a r a m a p r a n a m please accept my humble obeisances according to Sila p a p u p a n Guru Maharaj, I saw um, Harina movement join the protesting in uh, abroad country. So my question is, uh, is it suitable to mix devotional service with uh, material activity? So how about your opinion, Guru Maharaj? What do you mean? They're, what are they doing? They're doing Hari Nam, but a political protest. Yes, yes, something like that. Well, not not really. Of course, we take the holy name, the holy name everywhere. Political protest. I don't know what the protest was. Maybe there was some connection. Maybe it was affecting our devotees. So maybe they were. They had a reason, but Lord Chaitanya took Hari Nam Sankirtan out as a political protest. When the Chankazi stopped Sankirtan, then Lord Chaitanya told everyone, "Come on, Sankirtan." The Chankazi said, "No more Kirtan." So Lord Chaitanya told, told everybody, he told every, everybody, "Come," and they all went and they all chanted and they all protested that we we're going to do Sankirtan. So that was 500 years ago. Lord Chaitanya organized civil dif civil disobedience protest because they tried to stop Sankirtan. So if they tried to stop Sankirtan, then we will protest. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> okay. <coughs> ไปทำแบบว่าไปประท้วงด้วยแล้วไปฮารินามด้วยอะไรอย่างเงี้ยแสดงกรุมาเราบอกว่าต้องดูก่อนว่าการไปประท้วงแบบนั้นนะเพื่ออะไรอาจจะเพื่อสะเพื่อเกี่ยวมันเกี่ยวอะไรกับเราหรือเปล่าเกี่ยวกับเพราะว่าตอนสมัยเจตนามาบูเนี่ยเจตนามาบูก็บอกให้มีการออกไปประท้วงตอนที่จันการสีเนี่ยมาบอกว่าให้หยุดทําเกตตันตอนนั้นเจตนามาบูว่าไปประท้วงเหมือนกันอันนี้ก็ขึ้นอยู่กับวัตถุประสงค์แต่จุดมุ่งหมายก็คือการให้พระนามกับผู้คนดังนั้นก็เป็นการนี้ Yes, Guru Maharaj, is 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 not about about um like not about religion, is about only political. But when they um went to protesting something like that, but they they thinking um about uh Hare Krishna m a h a m a n t r a Mm -hmm, something like that. Okay, that's good. If there's a lot of people, it's good to go and chant. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. 
All right. Some other questions there? Yes, Gamash. Uh, Pada Ji, go ahead. Uh, yes. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, uh, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Shri Prabhupada. Hare Krishna. Uh, uh, Guru Maharaj, I wanted to ask regarding this um, sloka today. Um, it says that uh, we are um, uh, we request Krishna to actually remember whatever we have done for him at the time of death. So uh, I'm wondering how to actually understand the mood of the sloka because uh, even when we do like um, like karma yoga, um, we are supposed to do uh, without expecting um, uh, being without being attached to the fruits and devotional service should be without motivation. It's unalloyed and um, there should be no motivation in the devotional service. So this uh, sloka seems to like indicate that, you know, when we do something for somebody, we are expecting them to remember it. And in this case, it's Krishna. So how do we understand this, uh, the mood of this sloka, Bhumaraj? Well, we understand that it, it's like an awakening to people that we should understand at the end of life. We have to be conscious how we've used our life. And so the, the sloka is there to remind people that you should think about it before the time of death. You know, you should try to do something good because at the time of death you may, you don't want to be in that position that you never did anything for the Lord. So at least it makes people aware that you're supposed to do something. You should use the life in the proper way to do some good, to do some service for the Lord. You don't have to pray like that, but at least we should be conscious to do something, not to just waste our life in sense gratification. So it's, that mantra is there uh, just for those people who may never think about doing anything. That they would think, well, I, um, I better do, I never did anything in my life, you know. <laughs> so, what would the Lord have to remember? If I never did anything, <laughs> He won't remember me that I never did anything. So I better do something, I better start doing something before it's too late. And the life will be over. You never did anything, what will happen? Where will you go? It's, a, it's like that. It's like an, an awakening. To, people think more about the goal of life, the purpose of life, not to waste their time. อันนี้กุรมาก็บางทีก็ถามว่าแล้วในสรุปนี้เนี่ยเหมือนแบบว่าเออถ้าเกิดว่าเจอสลบแล้วจะรู้สึกว่าเออฉันยังไม่เคยทําอะไรเลยนี่ว่าถ้าเกิดว่าเราจะมาบอกว่าเออแกช่วยจําอ
there are living entities and they have forms which are spiritual forms and these spiritual forms can appear they they can appear in many different forms it's described how the living entities when they go back to the spiritual world they have all the yoga powers and because of they have all the yoga powers they can transform themselves into any different form they like for the service of Krishna. So they, they have, you know, we have relationships with Krishna, just like the different rasas are there. Somebody, we have a, we generally we do have the, the form like Krishna, the human form, because we enjoy a relationship with Krishna, but we can also take different forms, and there are different, all kinds of living entities there in the spiritual world. And the different souls will transform themselves into different forms. Sometimes they'll become bees, and they'll be sometimes birds, and sometimes different, and then of course cows are there, a lot of cows are there. And they will take all of these different forms just simply for the pleasure of Krishna. Okay. According, I see. Thank yeah, it's described in quite detail in a book called the Brihad Bhagavatamrita, which was written by a d direct disciple of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu named Sanatana Goswami, and he describes how the living entities in the spiritual world can take all of these different forms. They take their bodies can transform themselves into these different forms of life just simply for the pleasure of Krishna. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Mm -hmm. Okay, Arjuna. อ่าอยากจะทราบถึงรูปลักษณ์ที่แท้จริงของดวงวิญญาณงั้นก็หมายความว่ารูปลักษณ์ที่แท้จริงของดวงวิญญาณก็มีเหมือนกับคริชนา
Oh. What happened, yeah. Arjuna? I don't know. She was there, Guru Maharaj, but now, now she is not there. Maybe her connection or something like that. I will, I will check with this Prabhu one more time. Okay. Uh, Subhadi Ryan Prabhu. I will check with him. Who? Then, okay, she is here. She is here. Chidna Tulasi. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Tulsi Gopinath Manaji. Mahara <laughs> <laughs> Tinna Okay, we shall come try to the man guy. This Recording stopped. Tahil, Tahil, you went to me. Okay, so question is, is it only by pure devotional service that we can perfect our life? Recording in progress. Is it only in this, is that only for Kali Yuga or in other ages can you also get perfection by pure devotional service? Yes, you can get perfection in any age by pure devotional service. In, in every age, there is a chanting of the holy names. And of course, chanting of the holy names requires pure devotion. In other ages, there were other processes. Just like in the Satya Yuga, people could do meditation, but they could also chant the holy name. But in the Kali Yuga, there's only the chanting of the holy names can get perfection. We cannot do meditation, we cannot do fire yagyas, we cannot do temple worship. We cannot do them to perfection, but we can chant the holy name to perfection.
And Krishna spoke the Bhagavad Gita before Kali Yuga began. Krishna spoke the Bhagavad Gita. He was saying only by devotion it could be understood. So devotional service is always the way. In every age. Megan and die. Okay. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Okay. Thank Archana for her translation. And we're sorry to the Chinese devotees that we couldn't manage to get the translation organized so well today. The internet is very unstable. Okay. Woman Ganshi saw the functions of LinkedIn. Ganshi and Nimati went. Do you believe the one law? Hare Krishna, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Jai.